Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see activity lifecycle. I am Mr. D.P. Ganmal, uh, working as an assistant professor in Walsh Institute of Technology, Solapur, uh, in Computer Science Art Department. So let's see what is activity lifecycle. So activity lifecycle is an important part in Android uh, application. So whenever ap Android applications are created, it has to follow activity lifecycle. Okay, all uh, it has having various phases into it. So first of all, we'll see what students will be able to uh, gain uh, after this uh, watching this video. At the end of the session, students will be able to identify different states in activity lifecycle, and uh, they are going to demonstrate. They will be able to demonstrate the working of activity lifecycle. So they they can identify and they can demonstrate uh, the activity lifecycle. Uh, it is possible uh, with help of a, a simple program. So understanding the activity lifecycle, uh, so user can navigate through various states. Uh, whenever an application gets launched, uh, that application will not get loaded immediately. It has to follow certain callbacks and uh, calling methods. So that callback will uh, move, jump that uh, application from one state to another state. That jumping from one state to another state is done or is achieved with the help of callback methods. Okay, so what are different types of uh, um, uh, states that are there in Android uh, activity lifecycle? Like creating is there, stopping is there, destroying is there, pause is there, resume is there. Okay, so likewise many uh, states are there. We will see in detail uh, what are the different states in activity lifecycle. Okay, so this slide just gives you an introduction about how activity lifecycle will work and uh, what are different methods inside activity lifecycle. Now, if I take an example, let's take an example of streaming video uh, player. Uh, we have seen there are many uh, players available on Google Play Store, streaming video player. If I launch a streaming video player, uh, what actions can we do in that particular application? Uh, generally, we can uh, watch the video, we can pause the video, we can resume the video. So this is possible, this pausing, resuming or terminating a video is possible because of life cycle. It has to go so with help of some life cycle, various methods, uh, because of which this uh, stopping, pausing, or resuming is possible, right? So when a user returns, you can reconnect it to the network. So sometimes network gets dis disconnected, right? So when your network gets disconnected, and uh, after reconnecting with the network, uh, the uh, whatever you video we have watched. It will not again start from the beginning. It will resume from that particular state. This is possible only because of uh, that uh, life cycle protocol. Okay, now this is an activity life cycle diagram. Very, very important diagram. Uh, required for every beginner to understand uh, the life cycle. So once you understand this life cycle, you can create the applications uh, based on this uh, life cycle. Okay, so first of all, when I uh, open any application, right? Let's say a Gmail application I have opened and I click on uh, that Gmail icon. What will happen when I click on Gmail icon? Application gets launched, right? So this is the state. Application gets launched when I click on a uh, Gmail button, okay? In immediately the uh, inbox is not visible. It will take some time to loading time, right? So that loading time and uh, connection establishment with your messages is done during on create. So on create is going to uh, work as a connection between your gmail account uh, connecting with your gmail account fetching your messages this all things are done in on create once on create is done your mail box is ready it will go to on start so the application is now ready to start okay then once application is in on start it will go to on resume now i'll tell you why this on resume is required additional state so in first attempt, whenever you are clicking on application, okay, you can skip this on resume. I'll tell you when this on resume is required. After this, it will go to activity running state. So uh, Gmail is now visible to you. You can check your inbox. You can compose a mail. You can uh, check your sent messages. You can draft a mail. So these all things are nothing but activity running. So when you are opening a Gmail and working with Gmail uh, application, that is nothing but activity running state. Okay. Then why uh, this on pause? When this on pause will be called? Let's say, uh, sorry. Let's say you have uh, mm, got a call, important call. So call is nothing but when you get a call, the application will be uh, paused. That is on pause. Okay, when you get a call that is given higher priority, call is given higher priority, you can attend the call. Okay, once you 
disconnect the call once you are done with your call again it will go to on resume so this on resume will work in such scenarios when you have taken some time and you will go come back to on resume and activity again will run okay for example you have drafted a, a partial mail okay you have composed a partial mail and suddenly a call comes to you right will that mail uh, uh, be erased no right so it will be saved in a draft so that saving in a draft resuming that particular whatever you have texted is possible only because of on pause and on resume states i hope with this example you it is very clear this on pause and on resume okay uh, then when this on stop will come when you click on home button okay you're running with a particular application and you click on home button you come to your home screen right but is that app uh, terminated when you click on home button no it is not terminated you can check that app in your list you have a list button in uh, your android uh, mobile phone right in list button you can see all the latest applications which you have uh, loaded right so that complete list is available and once i click on that particular app once again using list it will go to on restart and on start button right so this is possible only because of uh, on restart uh, state okay then when this app uh, process scaled will work let's say your memory is a limited memory okay only it can save uh, 10 uh, processes right if suppose a 11th process gets loaded what will happen one process has to be killed right that decision is taken by operating system to kill the process uh, any one process to make space for another uh, important processes okay this is possible only because of app process killed state okay then when on destroy will work if app is uh, present in your list and you swipe right you kill that particular app when how you can kill the app you either you swipe it left or right that particular app gets completely removed from your list that state is nothing but on destroy okay so on destroy will happen over here and it will uh, app is no more uh, in existence app will activity will be shut down for that particular application so you can take any example like gmail facebook or you can take any other gaming application okay uh, all will all has to follow this life cycle process okay next uh, what are the states in activity life cycle one important state in activity life cycle is on create what will happen in on create in on create there are certain uh, initiative methods uh, that can be done on create when a on create is called your inbox is visible uh, your messages gets loaded that is possible only because of on create here what layout you want is given as an input like, like here r dot layout dot main activity so that layout gets loaded or that connection is done in on create here there one text view is taken you can take any other component also that text view is uh, accessible only with the help of find view by id so id is given to that particular text view ids are always unique now these are different states which you have seen on start on resume on pause right what will happen in on start it will make a call uh, to that on start and the application gets loaded so that loaded is nothing but it will come in your foreground application will come in your foreground and it becomes interactive right what will happen in on resume uh, uh, suppose an application is paused right as i said for mailing application if uh, a call comes right if application is paused after some time something has to happen and it the focus will come back the focus is given back to that app particular gmail application in on resume then on pause will happen uh, either you pause a video uh, some a video streaming application if you take you pause a video or uh, an important uh, priori higher priority application will come back in that case on pause will work now different uh, these are one some more uh, methods or states uh, on on stop on stop uh, will work a newly launched activity uh, covers the entire uh, screen so this on stop will work uh, it will no more be in existence that particular app then on destroy will completely destroy the app from your uh, memory as well okay yeah you can pause the video and uh, 
give an answer for this particular question is an interesting question in which state the layout dot xml is called he can pause and give the answer it's on create on create will uh, load this layout dot xml file so coordinating activities uh, when one activity wants to communicate with another activity this is possible with with uh, callback methods like activity a is calling activity b so activity a will become the root and activity b will become a child so when activity a will call activity b activity a will be in on pause okay after that activity b will be loaded it will be follow that activity life cycle on create on start on resume and uh, it will execute once activity b is done with its task it can come back and activity a will be loaded and it will call its on stop so this is how coordinating between activity a and activity b will take place so this is uh, how activity to activity communication happens actually so these are some of the references uh, very good references you can refer them okay thank you